Ramana Maharishi taught that we are not the body but rather the eternal unchanging consciousness that permeates and witnesses the body and all other experiences. He provided several reasons to support this understanding. Transience of the body. The body is subject to constant change and decay. It undergoes growth, aging and eventually death. However, the sense of I or self remains unchanged throughout these bodily transformations. Ramana Maharishi pointed out that if we were truly the body, we would cease to exist every time the body changes, which is not the case. Witnessing the body Ramana Maharishi emphasized the practice of self-inquiry which involves turning one's attention inward and questioning the nature of the self. Through this inquiry, one can observe thoughts, emotions, sensations, and even the body itself. The fact that we can observe the body implies that there is a separate entity, the true self, that is distinct from the body. Dream State Analogy Ramana Maharishi often used the analogy of a dream to explain the illusory nature of the body. In dreams, we experience different bodies, situations and identities. But upon waking up, we realize that they were all mere projections of the mind. Similarly, he suggested that the waking state is also a kind of dream and the identification with the body is part of that dream-like experience. Unchanging Awareness Ramana Maharshi emphasized the importance of directing one's attention towards the sense of I or the pure awareness that underlies all experiences. He taught that this awareness is eternal, unchanging and unaffected by the fluctuations of the body or the mind. By recognizing and abiding in this unchanging awareness, one can realize their true nature as separate from the body. Self-realization According to Ramana Maharishi, the purpose of life is to realize the true self or the pure consciousness that transcends the body-mind complex. Through self-inquiry and self-abidance, one can directly experience their identity as the eternal consciousness and recognize that the body is merely an instrument through which experiences are perceived. In summary, Ramana Maharishi taught that we are not the body but the eternal consciousness that observes the body and all other experiences. By turning inward and realizing our true nature through self-inquiry, we can transcend the limitations of the body and abide in the unchanging awareness that lies beyond it.